Hello and welcome to the Gannett Knitting Circle. My name is Jana and I'm coming to you from Germany. At the moment I'm at my parents' place in a little village called Arlum. And this is where we celebrated Christmas and New Year's Eve. And now at the moment we're here having a bit of a slower time knitting a lot. I'm sewing a lot as well and yes I wanted to share with you a bit about my my past crafting times and what I've been up to knit wise, knitting wise um, mainly. I did record another video before Christmas about all the the gifts that I knitted for Christmas but then I didn't want to share it because I didn't want people to see what they're going to get for Christmas. But I still felt like I wanted to share it with you. That's why it comes now a bit later. But I wanted to, to still share something from my, my place here. And also a big thank you to all the new subscribers that I've been getting. That was just really exciting for me to see because probably many of you know the Knit My Way Home podcast. It's a very nice podcast with Loetta and her daughter who record from the Yukon. And I've always been really enjoying this podcast and now I won the giveaway there. So that was really exciting for me. And also after they announced me as the, the winner, I've been seeing many new subscribers here, which made me really excited about sharing more of my, of my knitting. So that's why I wanted to upload this video for you. And I hope you will enjoy it and maybe get some inspiration from what I've been knitting the past months or so. But also share what you're knitting on. I really love to read all your comments. That always gives me a lot of joy and inspiration as well. And I hope you enjoy the video. So keep knitting and I hope we'll see each other soon again. Hi and welcome to the Gallet Knitting Circle. My name is Jana and I'm coming to you from Germany, from a little city called Göttingen, where I study musicology and art history. So this is my little corner on the internet where I like to share what I've been knitting. Um, sometimes I share about other crafts too, but yeah, in general, this just a place all about knitting. <laughs> and today I have quite a lot to show to you. This episode is all about Christmas gift knitting or the things that I'm going to be gifting. There are some things that um, if you saw my earlier episodes you might have seen before already because I've been knitting quite a long time now on Christmas gifts. But yeah, this episode I just wanted to have like kind of a little wrap up about all the Christmas gifts that I knit. And yeah, I think we should just start with it because we have a lot to show. <laughs> um, I'm not completely finished yet. So today is the 21st. Um, so I have still like three days or something to finish those things but um, I think I will I think I'm good <laughs> um, but most things are finished yeah I, I really thought that I wouldn't finish and um, I thought that I had to like give some gift cards or something 
um, and say, yeah, you're going to have this jumper, but I didn't manage to knit it because I really didn't have enough time first. But then I was ill for like one week and I was in bed. So it was kind of annoying, but on the other hand, it was also good because I was knitting all day, like from morning to evening, nonstop, and <laughs> didn't do anything else. So that's why I caught up on my knitting plans. And now I'm, now I'm good, now I'm prepared. <laughs> so it had a good side to it too. But let's just start. Maybe we start with the things that you've seen already, just because maybe if you've been here before, it might be a bit boring. Um, I'm also not gonna talk long about it because yeah, there's not so much to see. I just wanted to show it. But this I showed already as a finished object. This is a massive jumper. That's what it looks like. And it is the Strider by Astrid Ellingsen. I just remembered, maybe I should tell you what I'm wearing too. <laughs> I think that was my plan too. This is the Winter Soul by um, Jennifer Stangus. And I made kind of a Christmas jumper inspired thing out of it. And it's knit in Sogmatician, which is a New Zealand yarn. And I'm really loving it. So that's just a little side note. <laughs> but I was talking about this one. And this is um, by Astrid Ellingsen from the book Knitting with Icelandic Wool. So this is actually intended to be knit with Alafus Lopi, which is the thicker Icelandic yarn, but I didn't have any. So I knit this in a hobby yarn, which is called like the Big Wool Happy Sheep or something like this. I also don't have a label anymore, but it's, yeah, it's a yarn by Hobby, and I think it turned out quite nice. I think it is even thicker than Alafus Lopi, at least that's what it felt like to me. Mm. And this is knit on 8mm, so that's why it turned out quite massive. And I was intending to knit this for my Etsy shop, where I sell some jumpers from time to time. And I was going to take some pictures of it, but because it really doesn't fit me, it's way too big for me. I asked my, bro my brother, who is quite a lot bigger than I am. So he's like, he's, he's massive. He's like more than two meters, like two meters and 10 centimeters or something. So he's really big, <laughs> like tall. And I asked him if he could wear it maybe and then take some pictures of him wearing it so I could put them up on my Etsy shop so people could see what it looks like. And it just fit him so perfectly. So it, yeah, it was really nice because he also said that it's the first time that he's actually wearing a jumper that where the, the arms really fit him, like the sleeves, that they're not too short because even if he goes to a shop, and buys a jumper in size, I think, 2XL, still the sleeves are going to be too short for him. So he was really happy that this fit so well. And then he was like, so how much are you selling it for? And I was like, well, but the, the wool was quite expensive, so it it is quite expensive. And then he was like, oh, this is a shame. I, I don't really have this much money. <laughs> and um, so afterwards I took to my my family and we decided that we would then gift him this jumper together so my my mom would and also my grandma would pay for the wool a bit and then I kind of pay in <laughs> knitting time and that we all gift him this jumper together just because it fits him so well and it would be a shame not to give it to someone else also because it's not so likely that on Etsy there's going to be someone who is this tall. Because, I mean, there are some people, but like he's really t 
taller than the average person over here. So that's the plan, to give this to my brother. And I really hope he's gonna like it. I mean, I did knit him a jumper once already before. That was last year. And I think he wears that one a lot too. But it's just very plain. And I think also the sleeves, they're a bit short. I think they are. And yeah, it was not the best jumper I've ever knitted. It's a bit boring. And I also kind of messed it up because it has this, uh, what do you call it, this pocket here in front where you can put your your hands from both sides. And that I messed up kind of because I didn't really understand the pattern so well, but it was all my fault. So it wasn't looking so great. But now I think this is going to be really nice, especially because this is so warm has here like the 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 fabric is so thick because of the color work so it's gonna keep him very nice and warm so that's the first gift that one yes and then there's twice the same pattern for my mother and for my grandmother it's both the same pattern but very different outcomes because i've used very different yarns and also this one I've shown before, this version, because this version, I have exactly the same one. And then I knit the same again for my grandma. This is really not a winter thing, it is a summer cardigan, but well, <laughs> gifted to her anyways. I was thinking maybe I've, I'm gonna have enough time to knit my gra grandma something more wintry. But now I'm like, ah, I'm just gonna gift her this one and there's gonna come another summer so then she can wear it because i had i had the same one in in summer and then she saw it once and was like oh i would love to have a cardigan like that i've always been looking for one so i decided i would just make exactly the same one it's a bit um bit bigger than my version this is the um, felix cardigan by amy christophers it's just a very plain cardigan, but here it has those beautiful raglan increases, which I love so much. And these are some olive wood buttons that I had a lot of. And it's just a basic cardigan. That's gonna be gifted. I was thinking maybe I should keep it until summer because that's when my grandma has her birthday. But yeah, I'm just gonna give it to her now. This I knit already in September, I think. And I had shown it already on the podcast before. So maybe this is just gonna bore you <laughs> if I talk more about it. And here I have exactly the same cardigan again, but with a different yarn. So this is also the Felix cardigan. And here you see the beautiful increases. But this one is knit in Drops Nepal. It is that one. And this is a... Oh, is it actually focusing? Yeah. This is a alpaca blend. It's got 65% wool and 35% alpaca. So it's really nice and soft. And then what I did, I paired it with this cone that I have which is also alpaca and because of this it is just such a lovely fabric and it's just really really soft and I hope also because of this cone it's going to be more sturdy and that it's going to hold up and but it also gives it you now these nice speckles which I like and I have quite a lot of these drops Nepal left in that color so I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna knit myself exactly the same cardigan now because I love it so much. I also have, like I have, I have two versions of the Felix Cardigan for myself. One the same that I knit for my grandma. Oh, I actually forgot to say, this is a 100% cotton yarn. So it's, it's more of a summer version. And I have that one too. And then I have another version, which is wool different woods 
and turn together. Yeah. And yeah, but it is like the fabric is much thicker in mine and it's not so nice and cozy. This one it has also quite a lot of drape to it. And it's just so nice to to touch. So maybe I'm gonna knit myself the same as well. And those buttons, I bought them in the local yarn shop. Those are just, yeah, some buttons they had. So this is gonna be for my mom. I really hope she's gonna like it. She's been saying that she would love to have a cardigan because two years ago, I think I knit her the Astrid cardigan, which is also a pattern in the book Knitting with Icelandic Wool. And that's a massive cardigan. It's also knit in Alafa Slopi and it goes until her knees and is really warm. And she likes it a lot, but it's not always that cold that you actually need this big of a cardigan. So she said she would love to have also a cardigan that is just until the hips, just normal length that she can wear under her under her jacket or something. So that's the plan with that. I really hope it's gonna fit her. But yeah, those were all the bigger project well there's still but that's there's one bigger project that's not finished yet. But almost then yeah just w without any particular order i'm going to show you these two this is version number one and this is version number two this is the bandana cowl by pearl soho and this version is also knit in Drops Nepal and this is knit in the Cool Merino by Lana Grossa and this is a lovely thing that I found out about only recently and I think it's just so cool it's this cowl but then it has this tip here going over the chest and I think it's just really lovely because it keeps the chest warm as well and it's like a cow and it's just a nice easy knit that goes quite quick it's also knit in quite a big yarn I don't really know what's the recommended needle size but I think these ones were knit in six millimeter needle or five maybe not sure something like that and yeah that's just the Nice and easy gift. Um, yeah, there's not so much to say about these, other than this is a bit bigger than that one. This is smaller because this is. I think this version is knit on five millimeters, and this is knit on six millimeters. I think that's why this is quite a bit, quite a, yeah, a bit smaller. But it's also nice and yeah, nice gift knit. This I can really recommend if you're still looking for gifts. I don't even know when these episodes come up, comes up, so maybe it's too late then already. But yeah, for next time. This is a really nice gift that I can recommend. And also in the pattern it gives you different, different options to make it your own like with stripes or different color blocks and things if you don't just want a plain one that's just yeah basic one but you can also bring some color into it if that's what you like yes then maybe I'm just gonna show this one I hope it doesn't feel like I'm rushing through this it's just this massive pilot kind of <laughs> yeah makes me want to talk faster 
but yeah, we have time, right? So this was a bit of a difficult decision what I should do, but this is what I ended up doing. This is for my aunt. I didn't know for a long time what to make for her, but then I thought maybe just a nice light layering piece would be nice for her that she could just put on and have some warmth without having like a massive jumper and yeah I hope it's gonna fit her and she's gonna like it. This is the Ranunculus by Knit Cafe Midori. I've knit this many times before and probably you know this pattern very well and this is a version that's just knit in the single strand of silk mohair by Drops and yeah <laughs> I'm not so sure about it but I hope she's gonna like it I was thinking because first I wanted to knit with longer sleeves but then I thought because this is really just so thin and I was thinking if she has sleeves flowing around then she might get stuck somewhere or ruin the fabric or something so I thought it would be more practical to have these on short sleeves but I thought she could for example have like a long sleeved top like a black or something and then just put this on top because this is so light it's like I think it's how many I, I didn't even use three balls so maybe only 50 grams or something so it's really light but like only just putting it like this on top of me I feel the warmth from it because it's really quite warm and yeah, it just doesn't wear anything so she could also just wrap it up in the little bundle and keep it in her in her bag or something and then if she gets cold put it on that that's what I was thinking about yeah and well I was having problems with the neckline a bit because first it was just too tight because she doesn't like a tight neckline she doesn't like it when it goes all the way to the throat she likes it when it's a bit more loose and but I realized only after doing the whole yoke so what I did and I undid the the cast on and the first rows and just did a eye cord if you can see that and I hope now it's gonna be fine also here on the sleeves I did eye cord to have kind of a nice finish to it and yes I think I need this size 3 yeah and it's really quite wide and yeah I hope she's gonna like it let's see I will keep you updated about all the things after they've been gifted if that's something that interests you and I don't know if you saw that already but I got my Christmas inspired earrings here <laughs> My mom gave them to me because two years ago, oh, two years or when was it? I don't know. I think two years ago, I was working on the Christmas market and just selling like Christmas decorations. And every t every day I would wear these earrings. And I thought today is the occasion to put them on again. So yeah, that was this. And now we have a massive pile of socks to go through <laughs> it's actually not so many but still quite a few this pair is still completely wet so maybe i just show these first because it is actually well it was blocking but at the moment nothing really dries in our flat that's why things are still wet <laughs> so this is the pair of socks this is just the regular sock yarn from 
our local yarn shop paired with the silk mohair and I don't know if you can see that, I mean yes you can see that here um, I ran out of the the silk mohair and changed to a basic light blue silk mohair first it was this kind of a turquoise kind of color but yes then it's got a different tip now but I think it's gonna be fine these are quite big but hopefully nice and warm socks just very basic socks this is how I always do my socks just with the heel flap and a gusset and then a normal um, wrenched toe yeah just the way I always do socks okay those are these and then there's another pair that's um, like the construction is the same not um, yeah, almost the same but this is another pair of Christmassy socks this is also no but this is not a sock yarn this is knit in Rama Finu paired with another mohair this is called mohair trend by Lang actually don't know what yeah it, it's just it's just the normal silk mohair with 70% mohair and 30% silk but this is kind of thicker than normal ones that's what it looks like see it's, it's like it's got this yeah this funny way of spinning it I don't really know <laughs> but this is different than other silk mohair it's just thicker but yeah these are found once in our yarn shop um, they had a big, big basket with all kind of yarns that they had for one euro so that was a nice um, purchase and then on the heel I just have the same but this is yeah just a white silk mohair and a grey sock yarn that I had and it's still just a basic construction with the heel flap and a gusset and yeah just a pair of socks <laughs> that's gonna be gifted too for Christmas after this episode I'm gonna have to wrap all these gifts and yeah that's gonna be quite an operation so then I have I know these are wet too because they were lying on top of the other socks this is another pair of socks oops it is the the Sunday socks by Petit Knit and this is knit in the Viking Garn which is a Norwegian sock yarn and is this self-striping yarn in quite autumnal colors which are really lovely I think so that's another pair to gift I think this one this pattern is so great for um, knitting gift socks because it has this ribbing all like on the leg and then here on top of the foot so like this they look really slim the socks but it's so stretchy because of the ribbing that's why I kind of feel like these socks they fit so many types of feet like even if you don't know the shoe size of the person you're knitting for that's often my problem that I want to knit socks for someone but I don't really know their shoe size but I also don't want to ask because then I know they're gonna get socks or something that's why then often I just guess what kind of shoe size they would have and then it's nice to have this ribbing because then they're so stretchy and often it doesn't matter so much if I was wrong with the shoe size because also I I have European size 42 but in socks I can I can also wear like 
38, 39, something like that. Just because often if they're stretchy enough, it's just fine. And yeah, that's also what I like about this pattern. Then one more pair of socks. This is maybe the most special pair. And yeah, I'm still a bit sad that I'm gonna have to part with them, but it is what it is. <laughs> now I'm also really happy that they're gonna be with someone who will hopefully cherish them a lot. And these are the socks. These are the foxtail socks by the Petite Knitter. And I knitted them in lang sock yarn. And yeah, it's got these little fox heads on it. And yeah, I'm just seeing here's a little hole under here that I should maybe fix. Yeah. <laughs> these I'm gonna gift to today actually. These are for a friend of mine from uni and I'm gonna see her today, the last time before Christmas, so that's when I'm gonna give them to her. And I really hope she's gonna like them, but I think she will. Last year I knit them some socks with dogs on it, because she has a dog too, and she loves dogs. So I thought foxes and dogs are kind of similar. <laughs> and the the pair I, knit, I gave her last year, she she really cherished them a lot and she loved them so much. That's why I thought she's really knit worthy and I should knit her another pair this year. Yes, these were all the finished um, gift nets that I have. And I have still some unfinished projects, but which I hope I'm gonna finish soon. Maybe I just show you this one that I've been knitting on in the beginning of the podcast. This is just a very basic sock too. I finished one already. Um, uh, they don't look so great now. Maybe I have a sock blocker and I can show you. Um, yeah, this was the pair that I've been knitting on in uni, all semester. But because then I dropped quite a few courses, I didn't really go so often to uni anymore. And that's why they didn't get so much attention anymore. <laughs> and now I still have to finish them. This is the first pair. I just got a ripped leg, a heel flap, a gusset. And yeah. And on the second pair, I only have this much. So I still have to finish that. And this is like there's there's no special pattern or anything, but the yarn is quite special because this is one of my first hand dyed yarns that I dyed last spring. And this I dyed with the egg coloring for Easter eggs that one gets here in every supermarket. And I think they turned out quite nice, the color. I quite like this way. It it shows off the different colors. And yes, this is hopefully gonna be finished soon and gonna be gifted as well. Yes, for now it is living in my little project bag that I made myself and maybe I'll knit on them tonight. So then I have one other project. This is as well a bit of a funny one because it's got a bit of a funny story to it. It's the Space Invader Mittens by Arne and Carlos. That's what they look like. And I knit these, exactly these ones, for my brother a few years ago, for his birthday. And 
I did that so often already and it annoys me so much that I just don't learn from my mistakes. But I had knit two, two mittens from, for, the, for the same side. Like I think, it, yeah, two, two left ones, two left mittens. Which is so stupid and so annoying. <laughs> and I only realized when I had finished them and that's why then I had to knit a third mitten so my brother would have two both sides. So I, for all these years I was having this left mitten flying around, not really knowing what to do with it. But then my dad said he would also love to have these mittens and he was trying them on and said he, they fit him perfectly. So I was thinking I should really knit him the other side, the right glove, the, the right mitten, and then give them to him. But then the problem was I had lost the pattern somehow because I only had the printed. And because I got it from Arne and Carlos when I signed up for their newsletter, you kind of get a free pattern there. And I had lost it, I didn't know where it was. And I also had lost the the printed version. But now I found it again. Well, my mom, mom found it again. <laughs> so now I can knit it. And now I have to knit. But I think these were quite fast to knit. So now I have to knit another one. And it's knit in Let Lopi, the Icelandic yarn. And these are just some that I had in my stash. That's the Let Lopi. The thing is I also don't really know anymore what needle size I used, but I think I just have to try it out if it fits the gauge here. But yeah. That is another project that I'm gonna have to work on. still a big project <laughs> which was giving me a bit of a headache last night but now I think I figured it out and now I just have to finish it and this is another jumper um, it's all a bit messed up now uh, yeah so this is what it looks like this is the front So this is what it looks like, it's an all over color work jumper that I'm knitting also as a Christmas gift but it turned out it didn't fit. <laughs> well first it was a bit too narrow and then I blocked it, now that is kind of fine but now it's a bit too short. So what I did, I undid the, the ribbing and picked up the stitches again and now I'm knitting it top down. Actually this is a bottom-up construction. You knit the body first and the two sleeves, join them all together and do the raglan decreases. And here it's got a rolled neck. This is the, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, the grey rub chunky. I thought I was really, really wrong. <laughs> Not sure. By Camila Watt. And it's a beautiful pattern. It's quite a chunky one, so it goes fast, relatively fast. And it's knit on 7mm needles. And it's really nice and warm. Just putting it like this, it feels already so warm. And because it's all over color work, so it's really got a thick fabric. And yesterday it was just so difficult to pick up the stitches and then figure out in which row of the kind of work chart I was. But now I figured it out and now I'm just do another of these repeats here, down here, and then do some ribbing. And 
I hope this is gonna be finished tonight. Maybe not, but <laughs> let's see. Yeah. And this is knit in Rauma Vams, which is this, is a Norwegian yarn. And yeah, it's, it's really beautiful. I love the colors of this. It's got all these variegations to it. I really like it when the colors are not so solid, but have like little specks of different colors in it. And I'm pairing this with those two combs that I have. These ones I got in the Wolfabrik in Hamburg a long time ago. And I love them so much because I just, so often I just take the cone and pair it with whatever yarn I'm using. And it just makes it so much more soft and also more sturdy. So I really like that. So all this time I've been pairing them too, like always, because you, it changes the color all the time, but always in the darker color, I use the darker cone and in the lighter color, I use the lighter cone. That's why sometimes it's a bit weird, but I think it's okay. Like here you can see quite a lot, like this the dark brown peeking through, but I think it's fine. It's quite the autumnal colors, but I love them so much. If I wouldn't give this, I wouldn't keep it. <laughs> but maybe I can one day knit myself this one too. I really like it. And it's gonna be so warm. Yes. I think it's a really beautiful cut and also that it has this long ribbing on the sleeves. I think that's really nice and cozy. Yeah. That is this one. And I'm just remembered I have one more project that is in here maybe. This is another one I this I don't have to knit. And they don't have to finish until Christmas, but it would be nice if I did. But it's not so necessary. Because that's for the same person that this jumper goes to. So, yeah. <laughs> it's got something already. But I just thought I would love to also knit some socks. And that's what they look like. It's the first one. And that's because... We had this yarn left, this sock yarn with, how was it? I'm not sure, They're like a basic sock yarn, but then it has 20 or 10% hemp in it. You can sometimes see it, I'm not sure if you can see it. And it's beautiful sock yarn. It's like, I think it's the most beautiful sock yarn I've ever knit with. And we had this left and then I thought it would be so nice to make a pair of socks with it and yeah it, here in the the heel and in the toes in the ribbing and also in these little lice patterns it is just the basic sock yarn paired with this alpaca cone and yeah it's just a, again a basic sock but with the lice pattern. Oh, <laughs> I dropped it. And this is the second one, also just on the on the leg. But I think now, now I'm gonna do the heel flap. So that's another project. I hope I'm gonna finish, but I'm not gonna stress about it. So yeah, those are all my gifts. As you could see, it's quite a lot <laughs> and I've been spending the last three months, I think, only gift knitting, almost only. And yeah, I don't know, I was thinking next year I really only do like socks or hats or easy projects for gift knitting because this is just so much and it takes so much time. 
and it kind of took a bit the joy out of knitting for me because this is also why I love knitting because I love to create beautiful things that I'm then gonna gonna wear myself and I also love to give pe people like I, that's something I really really love to do and I yeah just love to give people things that I made myself and that I'm gonna wear them that makes me really happy to know that they're gonna wear something I'm gonna that I that I've knitted but at the same time I think it's also important to keep this balance between knitting for other people and knitting for yourself um, at least for me that's kind of important so I don't lose my joy at it because now in the last weeks it kind of felt like a chore that I had to do and I think that's really a shame so that's something I want to change in the next year that I start to find kind of a balance and not not feel like I have to knit massive projects for all of my people like I, I don't have to knit a jumper for everybody next year I think I'm also just then gonna knit socks because that's something nice to give to and that's yeah it doesn't take so long that's why also in the last yeah I think just in December I also started to have like little projects that just give me a lot of joy and although I didn't manage to knit so much on them because I had to finish all these gift knits I thought I'd still maybe just show them to you because they give me so much joy and that was always like kind of my re reward sometimes I would then just knit 10 minutes on it every day and it would kind of bring back for me this knitting spirit and yeah the love for knitting I'm yeah, just here is a basic pair of socks that I'm knitting for myself that's what it looks like it's really not so much yet but it's in this nice Christmas edition sock yarn um, I actually don't know anymore is it that I think it's the trekking trekking yarn or something is called like that or is it just from a local yarn shop my mom got this for me and it's just nice for Christmas socks but this one I'm pairing it as well with my alpaca cone and it gives this nice halo to it and also dims down the colors a bit but yeah first of all it just makes them really nice and fluffy the socks that's what I'm why I'm doing it and this is something I'm gonna knit on for Christmas like when we're with my family and that because this is a quite a mindless project so I can just knit on it while we're there celebrating Christmas and here I have another pair uh, another project that gave me a lot of joy but it's also really not much to see yet and well I encountered a bit of a problem with it um, yeah, I lost all the stitches here now and I can't get them on again but never mind this is a hat that I'm knitting for myself it's the Boston Streets by Jorge Locatelli um, that's what it looks like so far I only did the rib and here the very beginning of the cable it's got this beautiful cable and some bobbles um, pattern that I find really beautiful and this is also something I'm going to be knitting on now during the the days of Christmas the thing is <laughs> that's why I'm struggling now so hard to put the needles on the stitches on the needle again I broke the needle <laughs> I don't know if you can see this happened to me so often that's why I don't use wooden needles anymore this happens to me so often and now this was my last pair of three millimeter wooden needles and it broke again that's why I now can't put the stitches on so I have 
to knit now on another needle and then try to get the stitches back but this is just so annoying it always happens to me because then it lies on the sofa or something and then i sit down and then sit on the needle and then it breaks like i i love to knit with wooden needles but nowadays i only do it when it's bigger than four millimeters like five millimeters is fine i think six that doesn't just break when you sit on it but three is <laughs> for me is really not working at all but yeah i think this is going to be a beautiful hat i'm holding two yarns together this is just a basic sock yarn by lala gossa and i'm pairing it with this yarn this is also a hand dyed yarn of mine that i dyed the same time i dyed the other sock yarn with the easter colors and it's just this beautiful burgundy red with these little specks of orange and i'm finding this so cool i love this i love this color actually and i think it's gonna make a beautiful hat so yeah i'm gonna look forward to wearing this one and these are just really the projects that give me so much so much joy now and i'm so looking forward to knitting on them now once i finish the other ones and then i also have this beautiful sock yarn that's going to be another project for myself that i got from my mom as well and it is it is called the winterweide which is like the winter meadow i think so and yeah, just a nice sock yarn, self-striping. That's what the sock is gonna look like. Can you see that? Yeah, that's just also gonna be a basic pair of socks for myself to reward myself <laughs> for all the Christmas knitting I've managed to get through. And yeah, that's all I have to show today. I hope I didn't bore you too much <laughs> and I hope I didn't rush it was quite a lot of projects but yeah that's what I've been up to that was also kind of a reason why I didn't record for such a long time because I felt kind of stuck with all the gift knitting but now I feel I have it all under control and now I can enjoy knitting again and hopefully find more of a balance in what I'm knitting next year. And yeah, I hope you have a lot of knitting or you have knitting that brings you a lot of joy and that you're really enjoying what you do. And if you don't, maybe just leave that project aside for a bit and find something that gives you joy because I think that's so important and yeah that's all i have to to share today but do leave me a comment what you're knitting on what your plans are for the upcoming christmas season or oh, not christmas season but the days of christmas if you do celebrate christmas i wish you a very merry christmas if you don't i wish you also a very nice time and all the best and I hope to see you soon again. Until then, take care and happy knitting. Bye.